Thank you. Very you nice. go upstairs with all your delegation. Okay. okay. Thank you. Please, please. Yeah. Coming from there. You can sit on the other side. It's very small. Uh, they still won't be world leading in nanoelectronics. World leading. For a small entity in a small country. So, what's IMEC? Hmm? So, IMEC is a research organization. That means we do research. We don't. So, our mission is, and that's very important, we are in a small country, you know, Belgium is very small. Uh, we still won't be world leading in nanoelectronics. World leading. For a small and 20 centimeters diameter. And we have a facility which makes them, which uses from the industry, people from the governments. Governments, for us, means the local governments, but also European governments. Pilot line means it's not a production line. It's a line where we develop technologies and we go up to what we call prototyping. So pilot means it's a test line to test new technologies in new... So Flemish government is a regional government in Belgium, and they put ideally grounds and gave it to us. So it's important. We have a revenue of about half a billion euro, a little bit more. And of course we work with a lot of companies internationally, all the actors together. University people, people from the industry, people from the governments. Governments for us means the local governments but also the education worldwide with universities. I don't know if we have a collaboration with a of technologies here. All things which are very small dimensions here in that facility. That's because here you need industry, day, nights, and weekends, fully operational. But we develop technology, not for that. You will start. You will start. That's good. Because there are a lot of possibilities. Often we sign for research. We have an Orlando site, so in, in the US. We have a research activity on design on high-frequency applications, data hex imaging, things that they have to look for people. Total value of equipment and buildings included, it's more than two and a half billion euro. So it's a hell of a lot. But also beyond Belgium, we have collaborations we have set up in 2000 technologies in what I call uh, kind of laminates and things like that. So you can use it for different applications which don't financially, not a flash. Borders are the borders. That's in Europe still the case. So uh, we can. in Orlando site, so in, in the US, we have a research activity on design on high frequency application. That's, that's the only way to have a common strategy. So we now have a common kind of organization like corporate uh, business organizations, but it's for research. Industrial money today, and uh, the support is still necessary of a government, still but the biggest part of money comes from the industry and the nation. So here is a pie chart which shows that 70% industry, 20% government. Decisions. A very interesting group of these devices will be concerned with our health. We call it the Internet of Healthy Things. They are the sensors that will monitor our health during our daily activities. They'll give us early warning signs when something is amiss, together with proven, personalized advice and therapy. Devices that will also analyze our body parameters and compare the data with those of millions of other individuals, enabling the revolution of personalized medicine. IMEC and Holst. Okay. city in, mm. in, uh, in our country and we have uh, quite a um, fast uh, developing IT sector yeah. and our next goal is to make a really <coughs> economic revolution and uh, make Armenia as a technological country and so the cooperation with you is very important. If we can help, I mean we always like new partners which think in an innovation note. Yeah. I mean, there are enough industries to go into the production nodes, but you need the preparation in advance to make the difference. 
But anyway, it would be nice that we have a good collaboration.